Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. Okay, let's say hypothetically that you are a construction foreman or a job supervisor, maybe a retail shop manager or your business or a client's business is a partnership where each of the owners have their own card through a company credit account. Maybe there is an expense credit account that has multiple cards issued under the same credit profile. Oh, how I miss the days of company expense accounts. <sighs> I digress. In today's video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to enter these accounts into the chart of accounts correctly so you can reconcile against the statement at the end of every month. As always, this is a sample profile provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. This is currently the accountant view of QuickBooks Online for my fellow home bookkeepers. If you are a business owner, please feel free to check out my QuickBooks Online tutorials for business owners playlist, available now on my channel, for a better view of what QuickBooks Online will look like for you. To get started, head over to the chart of accounts found under the accounting tab on the left-hand side toolbar. Once inside the chart of accounts, click the green new button to create a new account. What you want to do here is create a type of umbrella credit card account. This account will not be connected to the bank feed. Its only purpose is to link the authorized user cards together. By the end of this video, you will know what I mean. For the account type, select credit cards and select credit cards under the first option dropdown. Under the tax form section, Select credit card again. Gee, how many times will I say credit card in today's video? Comment below if you are turning this accounting tutorial into a drinking game. Now go ahead and name the account something relative to the credit card. Maybe the card issuer or the style of card and the last four digits of the account number. You can see my example here. Now just make sure to make it something that you can easily identify. When you've named your account, you can see the preview of how it will look on the reporting. When you're finished, click the green save button. Now let's go ahead and create the user card accounts. This will be slightly different than before. However, the same as before, let's start by clicking the green new button. Choose credit cards at the top. Now here is where things get a little bit different. Under the save account under dropdown, select the card that you have just created, the umbrella account. This will make the new credit card accounts that you are creating a sub account of the one that you created before. Go ahead and name your account something like the username or maybe card one and two, Whatever is most identifiable for you since you are the one that will need to be tracking the transaction data. Scrolling down, you can once again see a preview of how this new sub account will look on the profit and loss report. Notice how it is under the original umbrella account that you created first. This will be nice information to see later as you will be able to see how much one card is spending compared to the other or others. When finished, click save. Repeat this step for each additional card until you have entered all the cards connected to that one credit account. Now, when you are ready to reconcile this account at the end of every month, go to the reconcile screen under the accounting tab and select the umbrella account. This will list all of the transactions from each user card 
just as it should appear on your credit card statement. Now this is depending on how your institution reports on their statements. I hope this video was helpful. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And for even more behind-the-scenes content of life as a home bookkeeper, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Emma Dawn and connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you need more assistance, personal financial coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.